In this video, we are going to take a look at drawing a floor plan, stylizing it and improving its graphic representation and getting it ready for architecture presentation. We're going to walk through this project in Rare Design to show you exactly how you can speed up your design process using this web-based tool. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So right here, we do have a DWG type of drawing, and this is usually what you would receive or what you already have through a project. So first things first, we're going to take a look at how we can trace this through and actually get the project up and running in Rayon. So firstly here in this bottom toolbar, you can see that there are a bunch of options that we can choose from. So we can go here at the wall and we can click first and then we can get started into drawing our walls. Well, as you can see, this is not the exact same width that we need to draw into. So instead, we're going to go here. I'm going to type in 0.4 meters and then we can go ahead and continuously draw and trace the walls just like this. So super easy and self-explanatory and a lot faster than doing this with AutoCAD. Cool. So once you have traced all the walls, now it's time for us to go ahead and do the openings. So first things first, in order to trace the openings, what I would recommend you to do is we go ahead and select all of the walls. We go here to fill and then we lower the opacity of it. That way we see where the actual openings are located. So firstly, we can go here at the opening and then we can select an action block so as you can see now we have selected a door if you wanted to select something else we could just go ahead and type in window or go ahead and choose something from the libraries or select one of these here firstly let's just choose a door and draw it right here so we firstly are going to select it and now we can also uh, position it the same orientation as it has in the um, actual drawing that we want to trace and then we can go ahead and also tweak the size of it super easily just by dragging it over here and then dragging it over on this side and then just positioning the exact same way as it is supposed to be and then if you want to place this in all of the other door openings we can go ahead and just uh, use the alt key and hold the left click on the mouse and then drag it over right where we need it and if we actually wanted to also add the openings of the windows here we would go to openings we would have the windows as the active block and then we would just place them right here so now if we actually wanted to go ahead and place some hatches and stylize the floor plan even further what we can do is we can go here at zone and we can trace for example uh, this area of this bedroom and then here we can go at fills and the great thing about rayon is that if you go here at texture you will see that it has a bunch of options so we can go for something like a herringbone uh, flooring and then we can probably uh, even rotate this for 90 degrees or we can even lower the actual opacity of it so we can go for uh, something like this if you do not want it to be super strong and then all of these assets that you see over here, what we can do, so we can go ahead and basically go to range and then send to back of layer. If you actually want to place ready to use blocks, assets, furniture, or anything like that similar, you could actually go here at blocks. And then if you just type in bed, then you can scroll downwards and find something very similar to place, for example, in this room. And you can just drag, drop it onto your model, wait a few seconds, and then you can rotate, optimize it, or place it any type of way that you want in your floor plan now one of the options of stylizing it is obviously with textures the other option is if we go here at zones and then for example if you go here in the bathroom we could also place hatches instead of textures so if i just create this zone right here and then i go to the fill i can go here at hatch instead of texture and as you can see now we can see that there is a square grid and we have a bunch of different options here in the asset library we can even go ahead and actually lower the opacity of this if you wanted these to be less visible now the other very cool stuff is that we can also add annotation tools so for example this leader uh, we could just use something like this and we can type in hidden cooktop for example if you wanted to add some more clarity in your floor plans and your drawings and then we can go ahead and increase the actual size of this for example uh, 0.5 we can move it closer or we can also change the whole way that this looks so uh, for example, we could have it something like this. And then we can also go ahead and change the color of this. So we can change the text color, for example, to uh, red. 
and then we can also change the size of the arrow here we can customize it to 0 0.1 uh, for example and then uh, this is probably how you can go ahead and customize and add annotations and then also in just a second we're going to go ahead and show you how you can present all of these very seamlessly to your clients with just one link in a project that is already finished in a template however just one last thing before we move on to that is that if you want to go ahead and add dimensions you could probably go here and add chain dimensions and then you can click once here and then go one by one into all of the points of interest that you want to measure so this would be something like what we're doing right now so here we can also increase the text size we can go for 0.3 and then we can leave the text as red. And then instead of arrows here, we can have uh, something just like this. And this would be how we would add dimension. So this is an already finished project and basically can do this with only the tools that I show you. It's just that it's a long process and I don't wanna bore you with a dragging and dropping and everything. So this would be a way that you could present your own designs in a rayon with full on pages and views. However, the crazy good part about this is that you can share this with your clients or other stakeholders with just one click here. If you go to presentation, you can click publish and then you can use this link to copy it and they can view it in any device and they can have access to it super, super easily. So while this loads the presentation, you can see that this almost looks like a flip book. And I think this is just so, so cool. By the way, this is fully web hosted. So you do not need a high end computer to access this. It's a lot faster, more affordable and easier to use than AutoCAD. So if you want to go ahead and create presentations like the one you see on the screen right now with Rayon, go ahead and click the link in the description to try it yourself now.